Today, we issued an exciting press release regarding our third NDA that we signed with regard our tomb silica material. Now, you know, I know for I know for some investors, third NDAs, what's the difference? But the fact is that these NDAs are represent demand from industry to test the commercial material that we've produced at LabScale. And that is a massive milestone. Because in this industry, it starts with, you say you're gonna make a product, which we've made. You then have the industry taking a look at the material, and then you move on from there. But if you didn't have a material that could be of interest to people, you wouldn't be getting those NDAs. Demand is growing because this is the third NDA we're doing in a very short time with regard to this material. You know, one of the, the, the most tangible demonstration of this is this is a third NDA we're signing since May by companies involved in the few silica industry or in the specialty silica market that want to test our material for its commercial, uh, for its commercial use to see it can, if it meets their own internal requirements for material. And that is really significant. In a short lapse of time since we've announced that we've made commercial grade silicone, we've been approached. And th these demands are going to go ever increasing. At one point, we won't issue any, any we won't we'll stop talking about NDAs, but I think the, the key reason why this third NDA is important because it demonstrates there's, there's, there's depth, there's breadth to this demand and it's, it's expanding. Few silica manufacturing um, is basically a dirty process where it uses a lot of dirty chemicals, a lot of energy, a lot of requirement. And it is also a very complex one because at the end, few silica is an extraordinary light material. So you end up shipping a lot of air, but the capital requirements to build new fume silica plants are um, extremely high, and there's so much constraint with regards to the environmental conscious, um, the environmental consequences of having those type of plants. With our technology, we're simply using plasma to blast quartz, simplify, into fume silica. And what we've demonstrated that we're the only process in the world that does this in one step. And the environmental advantage to this are massive. One of them is our feedstock is quartz. Their feedstock is silicone metal. But well, we all know, as I've explained as, as with the QRR, that silicone metal made by traditional process is the largest emitter of CO2 per tons of material produced. So in an environment where the, 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 the engineering, the green engineering of the material being used is becoming more and more important, where the the end user become more and more demanding in that regard, our material has a massive competitive advantage. Added to this, the fact that we use 86% less energy to make it. So we have a small compact system for a material that's extremely expensive to ship, not because it's heavy, but because it's light. So um, the, third, the third NDA is a validation that the technology we are bringing has the potential to impact this industry and that significant players want to get involved with us. All this starts with quartz. Traditional process takes that quartz, convert it into silicone metal, then go through a very complicated chemical process to convert it into fume silica. In our case now, with our technology, we go directly from quartz to fume silica, eliminating completely that, that middle step, which is the most energy intensive and which is the most polluting. So of course, HPQ's pure uh, pulverized technology has an incredible competitive advantage. And, it's, it, and this is why we are attracting the interest of people that want to test our material. Because the question now is no longer, can we make the stuff? The question is, can we scale up the production to commercial scale? And that is something that we've demonstrated with our QRR that we can do with pyrogenesis. So I'm very confident that over the coming months, that the commercial success of the uh, HPQ silica pul pulveris will become very evident. Now that we validate the technology works in the lab, the number one question of people is, can we scale this up? So this is what the pilot plan is going to do. It's going to validate we can scale it up. And then once we validate we can scale up, we'll do two things. One of them is we'll also demonstrate that in addition to being able to make fume silica, we can make other high value uh, silica based material like precipitated silica or fused silica with the same reactor, the same process in the same direct fashion. But also we will start to be in a position where we can start delivering commercial material. You have to realize that a lot of the, the startup markets are in the, we're the perfect size for it. So we can start with a 50 ton per year, you converting the pilot plant into a production plant, and then we'll gradually scale it up. 
Of course, they can be naturally um, done faster um, if some of the partnership we're in discussion move forward. So the speed at which we're going is advancing. The next key milestone, validating we can scale it up, but this is something we feel we've done because we have a track record of having done this with the QRR. Since the beginning, I've always believed that HPQ's uh, pulveris, silica pulveris, uh, technology to make fume sil fuse silica would become the industry standard for one specific reason, just because of all of its environmental advantages. We do not create to toxic waste coming out of this. There's no issues with this. Our security process, we're just taking, we're just using the power of plasma to convert quartz into fuse, uh, into fume silica. And that gives us that re reduces the energy requirements to do this and re it reduces all the environmental issues with regard to the dangerous chemicals that are needed in traditional process. So it is truly a green engineering milestone and it's moving forward toward commercialization.